And we are back at it again because yesterday's upload was low quality, low audio, low effort, rushed, and nah, nah, I, I can't give you that. You guys demand better, you want better, and everyone should get better. So, back at it again with a new video. We're going to reshoot what we were talking about yesterday in G4. If you don't know who I am, I'm Black Bond. We talk about gaming, we talk about sports, we talk about life, we talk about all the good things right here on the channel. And now we talk about it in nice, crystal clear 4K. Compliments of the Logitech Brio. We got the green screen in the background, and we even have the soundboard. So if you're not subscribed, you definitely need to subscribe, because why wouldn't you want to... Acknowledge me. Ooh, ooh, that's cold. That's cold. Ooh, we got the soundboard going, so we're going to have a lot of fun with this. We're going to have a lot of fun in 2022. So, outside of that, you know, we got the Wolf Wheel podcast going. Sunday's 5.45 p.m. Eastern, non-Shokyo time, because you know he's always late. And he's on Central time. If you like our content, you like what we do, you want to give us a little bit more support, we do have a Patreon, and we do appreciate anybody that contributes to our Patreon. And also, we do have the Gamer Advantage glasses, compliments of Broken Games HD. Go over there, check its code out. Hey, try them out. If you like them, buy more. I like them. They're good. So today we're talking about G4. And G4 just had a massive implosion. They, they, they've, de they've destroyed their channel. Their channel is dead. It's Dunzo. Dunzo Grenunzo. Owari da it is over. One thing you don't do in business is you don't attack your audience. You don't attack your fan base. You don't just destroy them for no reason. So we're going to listen to a little bit of what she has to say, and then I'm going to give a little bit of my commentary. When this originally happened and my gaming grievance was actually going to be about Red Dead Online. So the subreddit for Red Dead Online, I'm a huge Red Dead Online player. I love Red Dead Redemption 2. I think it's probably my favorite game of all time. Now one thing I want to say is if anybody has her gamer tag, I'd really be interested to know if she actually played it. Or plays it as much as she claims to play it. Because you know how these gaming journalists are, and you know how these people are. They like to fraud, and they like to talk out of the side of their mouth. And right now, the Red Dead Online community are trying to get this hashtag going called Save Red Dead Online. And they've got it covered by Kotaku, Polygon, um, Game Rants, like Forbes, I think, also did a coverage of it. And they think that this will get Rockstar's attention, and Rockstar will come back to them and give them exactly what they want. And we can actually scroll this down. I'll tell you when to stop scrolling. Good, stop right there. But I'm here to tell you, and you're gonna have to cut this B-roll in a second, because it's, uh, it's done. And what I think, I do think that there is a larger discussion about Red Dead Online and that we need to have eventually about game design versus immersive experience and comparing the Red Dead Online multiplayer experience versus the solo player one. But I actually want to talk about something so much more important than Red Dead Online. Oh boy. I've got some bad news. So, whatever she's going to talk about, and I already know what she's going to talk about, so I'm acting disingenuous here. She literally, on a gaming channel, is talking about her most prized favorite and forever played game and she's going to cut that out and what are we going to talk about everybody let's take a look sexism in gaming in joining g4 <laughs> yes! this is why are we clapping that's not a topic people want want or should clap about in regards to gaming, this could have been a separate video. This, well, we'll continue. 
It's not where I thought we were going, I know, but I'm here. I have no here. idea. I'm listening. Yeah. In joining G4, I was ecstatic to be part of something that I grew up watching as a child. But every time G4 is brought up in various channels, even in this YouTube channel, we have the chat in front of us. I can see you. Without a doubt, there will be backlash because I'm not as bangable as the previous host. Well, the problem is this. You're talking about a topic that was primarily utilized with the original G4. And if you were, in fact, an actual fan of G4, you would have known that women like Olivia Munn and some other women who are highly attractive were pushed out in front of the audience because the audience comprises of young men teenage to young adults so yes g4 did use sex appeal now i don't know how you didn't know that if you were a fan of g4 but your company that you work for who adam sessler is still there was using very attractive women to garner in viewers so okay let me put it to you this way if i'm a fan of football and I go to watch hard-hitting, tackling, running, catching, whatever it is that people watch football for, and then it goes away, and five years later, it turns into flag football, should I be happy? Probably not, because that would mean the new league is not the same as the old league. That would mean all the nostalgia I had for the old league is not applicable to the new league. It somehow talk to him, Frost. It has and the and the black Hokage. You... Come on, man. Put put down the sword and shield. Stop. It, it's pretty embarrassing. Somehow been expected that you can talk about how much you jerked off to women as a compliment. That's it's not weird. a compliment. It's weird. It's I'll agree. It's not a compliment. I mean, even if some people might take it as one. It's dehumanizing and it's weird. Women do not exist to be nice on the eyes for you. Morgan Webb, Olivia Munn did not exist to be nice on the eyes for you. So I'm going to have to disagree with that. Because they did exist to look good on the eyes to the audience. That's why they were hired, Frosk, to look good to the audience, to look good for young adult men and teenage boys. And if you don't believe me, like, come on, we, we can look at it right here. Watch. Hey, what? That's, I haven't watched well, it on my Netflix because I haven't seen it yet, but I know that. Their water comes down, not Skittles. <laughs> Jesus. Well, they were handing these away for Halloween. Oh, huh? my, they're just stuck in my bra oh. right now. Oh. They're just... I'm, am I wrong? I don't think I'm wrong. We'll, we'll continue. Skittles. Guy, but guy. I'm not, um, I'm not used to seeing her without the tentacles, but okay. I got bloomers on. Can I do a tentacle check? Oh, okay. Well, you tentacle wanna, free. You want to get down there? I want to do just something? a little tentacle check. It's like I'm on a train in yeah, Japan. Okay, tentacle free. We're good. We're good. It was in honor of the publication Girls and Corpses. But what I call a weekend at Pereira's. <laughs> I oh. see a comic book expert over there. It's Blair Butler, and here's a little, little fresh ink. Hey, Blair. Scary comics out there. You got Alan Moore's Swan Thing, Warren Ellis. It's on our list. My vagina. That's hot. Waving off my vagina. That's hot. Oh. Just fanning it off, getting it good. Oh, I'm going to attack this. No, I'm the host. So, yeah, like, I don't know how you can say that G4 was never using sex appeal and how the girls on the channel on the station didn't exist for sex appeal and didn't exist for the audience to look at them. That's like saying that the girls at Hooters don't exist for the customers to look at them. The fact is, they did. That's why they were hired. So I, I gotta disagree with that. I mean, let's continue though. Hey, she cooking, y'all. No, she's not. She's literally wrong. And she's literally contradicting 
the company that she represents. Now, she's entitled to feel whatever, she, however she wants, and had the company prior not done these things, then, yeah, I'd be more inclined to agree with her, but no, you can't play both sides of the coin here. This is like going to work at Hooters and then complaining that people are looking at you in your Hooters gear. It's, um, for better or worse, that is why they were hired. And that's just <laughs> obvious sexism. You don't need to explicitly objectify women or declare that you hate women to be... G4 seems to be doing a good enough job objectifying women by themselves. Your, your, your own employer is objectifying women. I, I'm confused. The company objectifies women. It hired women to look good and to be, you know, visually appealing. But now you're upset that the people that watched it, when you claim to have watched it back in the past, th this doesn't make sense. It doesn't. Sexist. Just go ahead and check out. Oh, no. I don't get where the hate women thing comes from. You you don't look at women and find them attractive and then say you hate like I, I don't know. I, that just seems like a deflection to me. Now Thorne's latest melt on Twitter for some spark notes. Now, here at X Play, our reviews are written and produced by a team of people. There are too many games for one person to shoulder the burden. So we divide and conquer. And when we use language like we or I, that's the reviewer. That's coming from the mouth and experience of the reviewer reading that review. And that's not to say that Gerard, TBH, Adam, or myself don't contribute to the reviews. We absolutely do. But it'll always be in varying degrees and take a whole team behind us. That's why we're X play and not Adam play. We have done the experiment and controlled for the variables. Adam will read a script written by the same writer that I will read the other half of the script for. That was sus. Yeah, that is weird. So, they just admitted that the people reviewing the games are not the people present presenting the review. So you could have people talking about the game, talking about the experience of the game, and yet they weren't even the ones that played the game. No, it's no wonder that people are being critical because it would be like if I played the game and my mother read my review and presented my review, it wouldn't come off as authentic. People would know that it's not her that played the game. People would know that she's literally just parroting my experience. And that's not legit. If there's other people that play the games because there's too many games to play, those other people that played the game should be the ones in front of the camera reviewing the game. Now, we're going to talk about privilege and we're going to talk about, you know, this and that. Why do the people that get to have to play the games have to play them behind the scenes and then you get to review them while they remain faceless and anonymous behind the background off the camera? Oh, maybe, just maybe, it's also because of what you look like. Because unfortunately, I don't see G4 hiring people that represent characteristics, but they're hiring people that represent characters. And by that I mean they're representing characters. We have to have character A, character B, character C, character D instead of hiring characteristics, which would be people that are knowledgeable, people that are legit, people that are gamers, people that are thoughtful, people that know what they're doing. This is weird. So, another thing that is weird is, we didn't know that until now. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I always thought that the people talking in the review were the people that played the game. Now we're hearing that that's not even true. And that is weird. But I'll 
be the one flamed. And yeah, it also happens to Gerard and TBH, but- There you go. So one, why are you complaining when it doesn't just happen to you, it happens to everybody. And two, now you know it happens to everybody because Gerard and TBH both have their own YouTube channels and people definitely know that the reviews they're reading don't sound like their authentic selves because they themselves did not play the game. They are basically parroting somebody else's experience that isn't theirs. Am I speaking crazy or am I just the only one logical in the room? Y'all tell me. But that doesn't discount the sexism of how it happens to me when it does. But so is it sexism when it happens to them? Or is it only sexism when it happens to you? Both things can be true. That there is a general hatred of any change that isn't Adam, and that all receive special flame just for being a woman. And I wish I could turn the... Well, you know, if you receive whatever for being a woman does tbh receive whatever for being black huh i mean i'm just saying Turn the camera around so that you can see the incredible team that make x play half of our producers and writers are women emily abby megan joe jake zipper gabby it goes on and on and on Form so how about you stop hogging all the camera time and let them get on camera and talk about their own game reviews. How about that? That would be fair. But fair is a very subjective word in people like this and their minds. Former writers that are now on ATOS like Vanessa, when you're in our DMs or on those YouTube comments or in Twitch chat right now, those reactionary threads thinking that I'm somehow ruining your current X-Play experience because you can't objectify me how you previously did to Morgan or that I'm somehow less qualified to speak on something, but you can't quite put your finger on why even... No, people definitely put their finger on why they thought you were unqualified. And this is exactly the problem. They stated legitimate reasons and why they thought you were unqualified and you had to deflect and change it to something that it's about you instead of your actual qualifications and your experience. And now you're actually proving why people might even have had a bigger issue because your words weren't genuine in your reviews because your words really weren't ever even your own words. You said you have a team of people that play these games and write these reviews, and you're reading other people's work and passing it off as your own while not even letting the audience know that, hey, this is Jenny's review and I'm reading it for you. These are Jenny's thoughts, feelings, and opinions. No, you guys are up here passing them along as your own. And now you're saying how you're not qualified as the other women while well, the other women were doing other things. So of course you're going to get you're going to get compared. Even Adam's getting compared from now into then and then into now. So you can't be above comparisons while everybody else is getting compared. Even though I'm reading the exact same script as Adam, but you have no problem with he's part of it, you're letting No. People have had plenty of problems with Adam's reviews and people have definitely gone on and say he's soft and that he's changed and that this isn't the old Adam. And what we found out is that it isn't the old Adam because as you stated, he could have been reading one of those reviews that were written by somebody else, which is again, why people are thinking you guys are inconsistent because you have a group of reviewers, but you only have four people presenting for a whole group. And we did not know that. So you're presenting other people's work and other people's words. And when people who know Adam realize that or didn't realize that, but heard that, they were confused. Your unconscious biases ruin my day and your gatekeeping the gaming space. So oh, oh, yes. And that's exactly where I want to go. Video games needs gatekeeping. And this video right here is a perfect example of why gatekeeping should exist because we should not be allowing people into the hobby to get on camera, to get in front of TVs, to just, you know, talk badly about gaming, to 
put a bad spotlight on gaming to make the industry look bad. She has completely sunk this channel. She has completely shamed this channel. She is completely attacking the audience. She has gone after the audience for political beliefs, ideologies, personal attacks, things that have nothing to do with gaming. And this is why I said they need to have people that legitimately have a passion for video games to be on these platforms, to be on these shows, as opposed to people that want to get on here and just preach their agendas, their politics, and scream for clout. It's not what people really want to see. People watch G4 because they wanted to be entertained and they wanted to watch and, you know, see video games and technology. They didn't want to watch it to be lectured about who they're voting for or different kind of policies or this, that, and the third. And it's it just nonsense. So maybe for 2022, we be a bit nicer, a bit more self-reflective, and we enjoy the fact that people are working hard to make free content for you. If you don't like it, don't watch it. And unfortunately, this video, from what I've heard, has 18,000 dislikes. So don't like it, don't watch it. That's not a good thing to tell your audience. And the unfortunate truth is, is... They're not going to watch it. Peace. Yeah! Hey, hey. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta back you up. I gotta, I gotta back her up. <laughs> Your team sucks. That's very embarrassing. Well, all I have to say to G4 is this. That's a wrap, people. But it gets worse. So we've already established the hypocrisy of having young, beautiful, attractive women in the old G4. So yes, it's going to be juxt juxtaposed to the current G4. But Frost is talking about, you know, objectifying people. And that's her right there objectifying a man let's keep it a hundred she's objectifying a man so once again it's okay for her to do it it's okay for her company to do it but it's not okay for the audience who used to view the company do it do it again i don't eat at hooters but if i did it would kind of be a little bit weird if i was looking at the girls and the girls were complaining i mean that's what they're hired there for i mean come on i don't get it i i, I really don't get it but one thing i do get is look at good old Adam Sessler. L look at that nice mug of hair right here. And you know what I think happened to G4? Unfortunately, that happened to G4. Once again, the follically challenged ruin gaming. I'm Black Bond. I'll catch you guys again another time. And as always, as always, acknowledge me. <laughs> Take it easy.